is Monday, October 14, 2019. I am Farah Bates with the night edition of News in Debt. Welcome and thank you for joining us. In the headlines, remains of two fishermen recovered, two others missing after suspected piracy attack. More details in this report. The man left on their voyage on October 5, 2019 from a wharf at number 65 village and never reached their destination. There are reports that the fishing boat, which was used by the fishermen, was found on Friday evening minus the men. The boat was found between the Cromarty and Wellington Park, Quarantine Burby Shore. The body of 36-year-old Kewal Kazoon of Lot 233 Lajakeni Village was recovered on Friday. On Sunday, another body surfaced and was identified as Lamara Petri. He was 20 years old. Kisun's wife, Tashmini Sicharan, was overwhelmed with emotions after getting the disturbing news. The woman said she never thought her husband would have such a gruesome death. I mourn his mother, father, brother, sister, his wife, eight-month-old baby, and a 12-year-old son, his heart. And then, what kind of person was him? My husband, I have known him for the past 16 years. I live, start living with him, it's like... A year and a half now but he's a joyful person he always make everyone smile in the house whenever he comes out the baby the sister the mom, he always keep us alive he will sit he will talk he will keep everyone alive he will always like to be around us the grieving woman related that she has more questions than answers as to why someone would be so cruel to her husband she positively identified her husband's body at the Fort Wellington Hospital on Saturday I identify the clothes. I step in the boat. When I go in the boat, there were all my husband clothes scattered on the ground. Um, where they sleep in the cabin, his pants was there, his shirt was there. Lamar Petri's mother, Onika Simone, said she is at loss for words as her eldest son was trying to make ends meet for his family and now is gone. Lamar was the eldest of six siblings and was living with his mom. The woman is also pleading with the police and other officials for a thorough investigation to be conducted to ensure she gets justice. The search continues for the two other young men, one of whom is the captain of the boat, 20-year-old Kevin Serum, and another crew member, 20-year-old Marvin Tamasar. Both men are from Mississippi, Port Morant. The mother of the boat captain, Shamuti Indrajit, with tears in her eyes, said it hurts to know that her son left home to make a daily bread for his family and met such a devastating outcome. If I forgot to do something wrong, like if he left, forgot to do something like tea for his stuff like that, and he get himself killed, yeah. no, the satisfied yeah. say, you know why he gone and do wrong thing, but he left me and his sister and a little small baby there to go to work to be a old something. I don't worry. I don't worry. He left for that. I mean, to say he left for one daily bread. The family. And they said the end when we're going to get. And I think they're supposed to do something better than emotion because every time you get this thing, you hear people die, people die, nothing doing. So I think they're supposed to do something better than this. While the sister of Marvin Tamasar, Mona, said her brother is the sole breadwinner of the family and she cannot come to grips as to why someone would want to attack him and the others. She said the family is now hopeless and remains saddened as they await the outcome of the search. The only saying is wear blood and my father find my brother hat and he finds that he wear and go and there is not he bag no dead then three by bag that then he went that day. Third, an investigation was launched by the police into the incident. More news after the break. Stay with us. Shh. It's your new secret. The all-in-one weapon for perfecting imperfections and capturing flawless skin. A lot of brands forget women of color or just don't understand that we come in all shades. From caramel to ebony, there is such a range. Iman Cosmetics is for every woman and features a line of skincare products and cosmetics including 16 foundation shades, powder, concealer, lipstick, blush, eyeshadow, highlighter and BB cream. Visit us at Lot 75 Swamp Section, Rosal Town. That's behind the market. Or call 337-4422 or 688-9249. The Guyana Elections Commission, 
would be conducting a claims and objections exercise from the 1st of October 2019. Persons have until the 4th of November 2019 to make a claim to be on the list if you will be 18 years or older by the 31st of December 2019, a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or registration, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the 31st of December 2019, persons who require changes or corrections to their particulars as stated on the preliminary list of electors, such as names, occupations, and transfers in relation to their addresses, can also do same during the claims and objections period. You must present the relevant original documents in order for the transaction to be completed. Don't delay. Visit the nearest GCAM registration office today. For more information, visit our website at www.gcom.org.gy. Follow GCAM on Facebook at Guyana Elections Commission. Contact us on 2250277-9 or 2239653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy or the nearest GCOM registration office. It's lights, camera, action for the elegant session ceremony to reveal the 2019 Miss Burby's I Am A Big Deal Delegates at the main hall of the Albion Sports Complex ground. On Saturday, October 19th at 6 p.m. Act to the glitz and glam. Strike a pose for the camera and dress to impress. Admission is easy, so come out and support our Babesian beauties and enjoy a night filled with great tasting food and quality entertainment. nice if we didn't have so much waste to dispose of in the landfill well composting can help us reduce the waste we dispose of by turning our organic waste into compost which can be used to improve the quality of our soil composting is very simple and convenient you can compost using organic waste such as vegetable skins or fallen leaves and cut grass and put this in a composting bin or pile Compost can help your garden grow healthy plants while reducing your volume of waste. It's a really good way to keep our communities clean and healthy. So, let's all start composting our waste. Find out how easy it is. Call us on 226-2189 or 227-8429 or visit our website, moc.gov.gy. A message from the Ministry of Communities in collaboration with the Inter-American Development Bank. Are you having problems sleeping at night? Well, worry no more. Comfort Sleep mattresses are simply the best. Comfort Sleep provides quality products, factory fresh and better value. With every purchase you make, you become part of our family and help to fulfill the need of the less fortunate. Comfort Sleep, as part of their corporate duty, provides meals for over 500 children in regions 3, 4 and 6, three times a week. This, among other charitable events, year-round is part of our mandate. What are you waiting for? Keep the dream going. Be part of this great family. Comfort Sleep. Echoes Industrial Estate, East Bank, Demerara. Telephone 233-3013 or 233-2657. Email comfortsleep49 at gmail.com. Welcome back. Gold miner shot dead. Two others injured in the Silver Street shooting. Let's take a look. A gold mine is now dead and two others injured in an alleged attempted robbery on the arms murder. The miner was attacked as he was about to enter the Eldorado trading business in the Silver Street, Newtown Kitty, to transact some business. That is the install of Barmeter Avenue, Bel Air, Georgetown. In surveillance video seen by this news car, the businessman's car had just turned into the entrance of the business place when two armed men exited a car and opened fire on the victim and his driver. Stull was seen firing back at the bandits as they escaped. He later collapsed and was rushed to the Georgian Public Hospital, where he later succumbed. At the hospital, family members became emotional as the news of his death was conveyed to them. 
In here the shots outside, right? Well, I I I um I got a weapon though, license weapon. When I go from here weapon to come down, when I go outside there, yeah. carry gun, carry yeah, you know, gun, and I see the man bleeding. So, yeah, I call nine one one and get the police to come. I come in the gate, I pow pow pow. When I look so, see man, he shoot over the next one. I said what? Then I see the man blazing guy. I said what? So what happened here? Because they want to go now. They me on cooking. It. Come on, pa pa pa. We come back again. I said, what? What happened here? You don't understand this. Anyway, the one shoot them all down there and said, one more than the car. Yeah. So I said, all right. The lawmen were also looking at surveillance video footage from various angles around the area as they tried to track down the killers. A number of spent shells were also retrieved from the scene. Police investigations are ongoing. <laughs> The Guyana Elections Commission would be conducting a claims and objections exercise from the 1st of October 2019. Persons have until the 4th of November 2019 to make a claim to be on the list if you will be 18 years or older by the 31st of December 2019, a Guyanese citizen by birth, descent, naturalization or registration, a citizen of a Commonwealth country living in Guyana for a period of no less than one year preceding the 31st of December 2019. Persons who require changes or corrections to their particulars as stated on the preliminary list of electors, such as names, occupations and transfers in relation to their addresses, can also do same during the claims and objections period. You must present the relevant original documents in order for the transaction to be completed. Don't delay. Visit the nearest GCAM registration office today. For more information, visit our website at www.gcom.org.gy. Follow GCAM on Facebook at Guyana Elections Commission. Contact us on 2250277-9 or 2239653. Email pro at gcom.org.gy or the nearest GCAM registration office. The Central Housing and Planning Authority is kindly asking residents living in communities under the management of the department to desist from storing construction materials on roadways and road shoulders. Residents are also being asked not to block roadways or drains with construction materials. According to clauses 12 and 13 of the amended agreement of sale of restrictive covenants attached to titles issued from 2012, no storage of materials comprising earth, sand, stone, blocks, cements, timber and steel or mixing of concrete shall be permitted on the road or the road shoulders. Any materials on the road or the road shoulders must be cleared within 24 hours of being placed thereon. Residents are reminded that failure to adhere to clauses 12 and 13 will result in a penalty of $10,000 being charged per day of default. A message from the Central Housing and Planning Authority. It's lights, camera, action for the elegant session ceremony to reveal the 2019 Miss Brebby's I Am A Big Deal Delegates at the main hall of the Albion Sports Complex ground on Saturday, October 19th at 6 p.m. Act to the glitz and glam, strike a pose for the camera and a dress to impress. Admission is easy, so come out and support our Babesian beauties and enjoy a night filled with great tasting food and quality entertainment. Get ready! 
for the non-stop adrenaline pounding excitement cause it's time to saddle up the cowboys for the Rima Park Rodeo at Rising Sun on Sunday October 20 at Rising Sun Turf Club at Rising Sun West Coast Burbies it's all the fun and thrills you could think of presented by Rising Sun Turf Club some of the bravest cowboys and he's gone yes and he's riding from Brazil, Venezuela, Suriname, Chile, Peru, Panama, and our own local legends from the Rupununi, Wild Stairs, Bucking Broncos, and the Swirling Lasso. Wildest, written by the bravest. Tickets, $1,500. It's the best and wildest rodeo event you've ever seen in Guyana. Music and fun for the entire family. Show starts at 12 noon. Sponsored by Banks DIH. And before we go, here's the story. This year's National Tree Day 2019 is being celebrated under the theme Time Waits for No One, the best time to plant a tree is now. The event was held at the number 53 Union Sports and Culture Complex and was graced by His Excellency David Granger, amongst other official members. This initiative was first launched in October 2015 as it is an activity on the list of activities for Agriculture Month. Honorable Minister of Agriculture, Noel Holder, noted that every year they will move from one region to the other to spread the word on the importance of trees to our citizens and country in general. President David Granger urged members of the community and residents of East Burby Scranton who were present at the event to get involved in agro-processing. He said it is important that we use our time and invest it into agriculture production, which is essential to our beautiful land of Guyana. That if every year Every school child in this country planted one tree, a bread fruit tree, a mango tree, a coconut tree. We would have a quarter million trees. After 10 years, two and a half million trees. Let us start the project. Let us start the process. Let us start the revolution of build, planting trees every year. President Granger emphasized on the importance of agricultural production so as to have more agro-processing projects throughout all the regions. National Tree Day is not a state show. It is central to our national policy. We want to highlight the importance of trees and I'm very glad that these children from East of East Quarantine showed you in the form of a skip in the form of a play, in the form of drama, how important it is to preserve trees. The day, this day, National Tree Day, emphasizes not only the economic, but also the environmental importance of trees, and also the social and the recreational purpose of trees. The president said he hopes that the residents adhere to his sayings and cultivate more trees all around the region, which will in the end help to protect the environment. With that, we come to the end of tonight's newscast. If you have a news story or tip, you can contact us on 6644337 or 6540523. You can also visit our website at www.rdproductiongwa.com or on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Royce and Drake's Production for more details on these and other stories. Join us again tomorrow night for more news. I am Firebates. Good night.